All right, in this video, we're going to talk about all the black cards from OPO5. So once again, this is a crudely translated version from the website. But if I need to refer to any translations, there's the Discord. So shout out to all the talented translators in the Discord. And also, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the leaders because we talked about it in a previous video. So let's jump into the black cards with Viola. So Viola is interesting. Two cost, 3000 power, sure, with counter 1000. And on play, your opponent puts three cards from their trash onto the bottom of the deck in any order. So this works kind of as a very specific silver bullet for two decks. First, of course, Nami, because you are making Nami's deck a little thicker with three cards from the trash, put it at the bottom. So, you know, they, they may, you know, not reach that threshold where they can very easily run out to zero cards in the deck. So Viola, really good target against Nami. And secondly, against opposing Rebecca players who you want, who wants to have like at least you know, seven cards in their trash or 15 cards in their trash. And if you're facing against those decks, if those decks are really prominent, then Viola is a really, really good card to combat those decks. It's like a tech piece that you can slot in the deck and like, oh, I'm facing uh, against a Rebecca. I know that I want to slow them down a little bit. You can play out Viola and just you know disrupt their plans by putting the cards from the trash to the bottom of your deck in any order so it first of all it limits the uh, number of cards in the trash to use again uh, for the seven cost super ability or you can use it to disrupt nami's plan by making the deck a little thicker so yeah viola and the stat line isn't that bad you can put two dawns attack into your opponent i feel like you know there's a place for viola and i feel like if rebecca is going to be a problem black decks like sakazuki can even put like a play set just to combat that. That's pretty cool. Then we go to the king. King, uh, I don't think it's, you know, Elizabeth II, but yeah. Four cost, 5,000 power with counter 1,000. Uh, when attacking, once per turn, you can return 20 cards from your trash to the deck and shuffle them. During this battle, this character gains double attack and plus 10,000 power. So this is, you know, very reminiscent of the anime slash manga. Flavor-wise, this is really on point because, you know, the king has to kind of warm up before he like throws a really powerful punch and this is sort of like that you return 20 cards you get double attack and 10k power making a 15k attacker whether or not you want to use this because 20 cards is a lot and you know luffy does the same thing it's not double attacking but it's attacking twice you attack with luffy return seven and then you restand luffy and attack again um so you know if rebecca players want another avenue of attacking for really high amount which is like fifteen thousand. But returning 20 cards, they can. But I don't think that this is going to be played as much because Rebecca wants, like, after you return 7, you still want another 7 in there. Returning 20 is, like, a little bit too much to kind of make work or at least consistently. This is, like, a, you know, last-minute attack kind of thing. But, yeah, I don't think that Rebecca players want to use this. Maybe other black decks, if you just want to test it out, you can, but not the best card. All right, uh, of course, Soldier Sun, two cost, zero power, with counter 2000, so immediately useful. And activate main, you can place this character in the trash. Up to one of your opponent's characters has minus three cost during this turn. This, I feel, would be a staple card in black base decks moving forward because it is a 2 key counter, so you can use it as counter for sure. It's Stress Rosa, so you can search. And then if you need to minus three cost or something, you can you know, give up a 2k counter, give something minus three cost with Soldier Sun, and then... Yeah, it's it will be put in the trash. It also fuels up your trash for Rebecca's ability. I mean, sorry, like Luffy's ability and uh, like uh, King Kong Gun, something like that. So this is really, really good in Rebecca. It's a definite staple. I think like this would be the primo de facto plus 2k counter for Black, especially in the Dressrosa decks. So that's really good. But other de Black decks can play this as well because minus 3 costs for 2 Dawn can come in handy. Not gonna lie. All right, next up is Shirahoshi. One cost zero power, but with plus 2,000 counter. Uh, activate main, you can put this character to rest and put two cards in your trash on the bottom of your deck in any order. If the opponent has six or more cards in your hand, your opponent discards one card from your hand. So this is a great way to disrupt you know, fellow white beard decks or decks that hold a lot of cards in your hand as counters. Then yeah, Shirahoshi will be a great addition to that. Uh, if there's like you no know, purple black like Zephyr or something, I don't know if you can use it in conjunction. But there's like the four cost super rare law, and then the black um, 
you know, Isho, and then you have Shira Hoshi, you can really do disrupt the hand a little bit. Of course, the opponent has to have six or more cards in your hand, but now you have more options to deal with, you know, to disrupt your opponent's hand. So that's pretty cool. Even though this is only one card, but it's a counter 2000. It's a counter 2000 with utility. So you can use this if you want a flex slot that can deal with, you know, opposing Whitebeard decks. So that's really good. Uh, this is Telly. This is the worst card in the game. Two cost 4,000 with counter 1,000. Yeah, don't play this card. Uh, anyway, we got the... Yeah, there's a cool like subset over here that has the Celestial Dragons. Uh, this is Shalos. Three costs, zero power, but with counter 1,000. Then during your turn, if the only characters on your field are characters with the trait of Celestial Dragons, all of your opponent's characters minus four. Cost minus four. Yeah, I mean, if you're willing to, you know, go down that route and play Celestial Dragons, the literal enemy and I would say like the bad people in One Piece, then sure, go ahead. But yeah, you have to kind of give up a lot. There are other Celestial Dragons cards that we're going to take a look at, but this provides utility, but it needs to be the, like, you, you need to only have Celestial Dragons on your side of the field. So I don't know how good this will be. Maybe we'll get more Celestial Dragon cards in the future that Ch uh, Shallows would... Uh, be better in in the future so yeah for, for now you know i think black has other great cards that don't require you to have like all of your characters be celestial dragons but i think this will work well with some of the cards we're going to talk about uh then we have cobra two cost 1000 power with counter 1000 it has blocker and on play place the top card of your deck into the trash so you know if you want to play this in a rebecca deck to fuel up your trash a little bit faster also, like, fuel up, uh, you know, the super rare Rock Blue Chi that we'll talk about later on, then this would be really good. And it's a blocker, so it's a block of utility. That's what you want to do in Rebecca decks, for sure. Then we got VV, one cost, 1,000 power with counter 1,000. If you have 10 or more uh, cards in your trash, this character gains blocker. Situational blockers are rarely good, so I don't really uh like them i think it's borderline unplayable i don't know why this is a rare but i guess in rebecca decks this kind of makes a little bit more sense because you are fueling your trash but what happens after you swing with the luffy's all your cards go back to the bottom of the deck then yeah this card's just a one cost 1000 vanilla essentially so play it if you want to but i would suggest getting other blockers instead all right next up we got hakuba a five cost 6000 power uh character with counter 1000 and Dawn 1, when attacking, you can KO one of your opponent's characters. Uh, sorry, you can KO one of your characters other than this character. During this turn, the cost of up to one of your opponent's characters is reduced by 5, which is a lot. 5 is really a lot to be reducing cost of. And you can, I believe you can KO something like a uh, Kairos on your side of the field. And if you have the stage card, uh, uh, the Coliseum card, and or the Rebecca leader that you can rest to prevent it from being KO'd, then you just use this for free when attacking. So you can give something by minus five. There is a place for Hakuba in a metagame. Uh, not sure if it's competing with some of the other slots in Dressrosa right now, but I can see uh, people trying Hakuba out. Definitely a playable card, and that's great. Next up, we got Man Sherry. One cost, zero power with counter 1000. Uh, on your main, you may pay one Dawn uh, and rest this character uh, and place two cards in your trash. Uh, oh, sorry. In Take two cards that are in your trash to be placed under the deck in any order, so put it at the bottom of the deck. Then you can add up to one black character with a cost of 3 to 5 from the trash to your hand. So Man Cherry is sort of like a um, toolbox card. So you can, you know, you can play out your Rob Lucci Super Rare, KO or something, and if it gets destroyed, you can play out Man Cherry, pay one, return two cards from the trash to the bottom of the deck, and you can get back the... Um, uh, Rob Lucci Super Rare and then play it out again. So it's very utility based. I feel like this is a very playable card depending on how you're going to build the deck and what cards you want to keep putting back in your hand. You can use Man Cherry to get back, you know, maybe like the Rebecca Blocker Super Rare, the Rob, uh, Rob Lucci Super Rare. So there's a lot of things that you can get back with Man Cherry. And yeah, if it, it kind of keeps your play going. It's like almost a searcher, but you know the card that you're going to draw that's in your trash. So I think it's playable. I think it's really good. Um, excited to see what black decks, like how many they're going to put in and whether they're going to use Mancherry in the future. Then we've got Moss Guard, uh, 5 cost, 1000 power, counter 1000. And on your main, you may pay 1, you can rest uh, this character and one of your characters up to, um, you can uh, 
take one black character with a cost of one that's in your trash and add it to your hand. Same thing, like, I don't know if this is super playable or not. Uh, depending on what you're getting back, maybe you're getting back a Shirahoshi. Uh, maybe you're getting back a, a Mancheri uh, or even a Vivi if you need to. But yeah, I don't see the power of this card as of yet. Maybe there are other one-cost cards that I'm not considering right now off the top of my head. But yeah, right now, I'll just say it's unplayable. Uh, you could play it, but depending on what you're going to take back. All right, next we got King Riku himself, four cost, 5,000 power with counter 1,000, has blocker. And the translation here is a little bit off, so I'm just gonna read it off Discord. So on play or on KO, select one of your characters with just Rosa trait and give it plus 2K count, uh, plus 2K power for the turn. So it's great for boosting out. You can, if Luffy is already on your field and you can play this out to pump him up by another 2K power and then you can do the whole double swing thing. Or uh, when you're KOing, uh, you can kind of, you block and you can protect some of your rested characters by giving it plus 2k power for the turn. So that's really good. It's a, a protecting king, I would say. Um, yeah, I think there might be a place for Riku in black decks. It's playable for sure. So we got to see where it ends up. All right, next is Rebecca, 4 cost, 0 power, counter 1000, great artwork, has blocker, and when placed or on play, uh, add up to 1 black character with a cost of 3 to 7 other than Rebecca. After that, uh, play up to 1 black character card with a cost of 3 or less from your hand in best mode. So you can play this, uh, like, same thing, it's a like utility version of Mancherry. Uh, except this is on play, so you can get back your Luffy's that has been KO'd. You can get back something like a Rob Lucci, and then you can play out something that is three costs, um, three costs or less. So you can play out, like for example, a Soldier Sun. Or you can play out a uh, Cobra if you want an extra blocker. There, and there's many cards that you can play with Rebecca. And how people will play it's probably going to be like toolbox version. So uh, I can definitely see them. Like if you want to redo something by minus three, you can sec uh, the soldier sun, give something minus three cost, and then play out Rebecca, and then um, you know, oh, you can't take it back because it's just but you can still play it. Maybe it's in your hand or something. I don't know. Uh, there are ways to utilize Rebecca's ability. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any right now because I don't really play black. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what Rebecca would be good for. But I think it's definitely playable. It is a blocker after all, and it's searchable, so that's great. Next is St. Roswell, 5 cost, 0 power with counter 1000. Uh, on your turn, if the only characters on your field are characters with the Celestial Dragon trait, all your opponent's characters cost minus 6. So in combination with uh, Shaolos, you can give everything minus 10 cost, and then you can just start popping it with, uh, I don't know, maybe like a Sakazuki uh, leader ability, maybe even, uh, I don't know, something else that can be KO stuff with uh, like, a certain number of costs or below you can use it with guard but after guard comes down like the cost goes back to normal so i don't know there might be more celestial dragons coming to black in future sets that work really well uh who knows there'll be a celestial dragon leader that could utilize like charlos and even uh Rosalbalt. so interesting to see interested to see how that's gonna work but yeah let's take a look at the next one which is rob lucci uh, 4 cost 6,000 super rare and on play you can place 3 cards in your trash to the bottom of your deck in any order KO up to 1 character with a cost of 2 or less and 1 character with a cost of 1 or less so in combination with all the black cards that can reduce cost this is really good but if you're in a pinch and you're facing against a very aggressive Zoro or Red Green Law then this is a great card to just put down KO 2 of your opponent's characters and just move on with your day this is a great Great staple card for black. It's definitely one of the best black cards that, that's coming to OPO5. So this is really, really good. And I can foresee a lot of black black card, uh, black card players uh, that's going to utilize Rob Lucci. And now we're moving on to the uh, black uh, event card. So first of all, Luxury Tailoring Patrick. I'm not sure if that's the correct translation, so forgive me if I got it wrong. It's a one-cost event card with main. Uh, card, give... One of your opponent's characters minus three costs for this turn and after that up to one of your opponent's cost zero a character cannot be uh cannot restand during the next refresh phase so it's essentially just locking down one of your opponent's characters after you give them minus three if it's zero you can uh lock it down for the next turn that's pretty cool and the trigger ability is draw two cards and discard one card from your hand there may be a place for this card in the metagame. Uh, not sure if you're dedicating like slots for it. It's just better to remove it 
uh, more or less. But this card exists and you can use it if you want to. And next we got Dragon Claw, a two cost uh, event card. It's a counter plus 4k to your leader or up to one of your characters during this battle. And then after that, if you have 15 or more cards in your trash, you can KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. This card is fantastic. It's great. It's uh, the standard 2k pl uh, two cost plus 4k counter. And you have an uh, additional effect that can potentially KO one of your opponent's cost four or lower characters. So you can get rid of like... A four cost blocker maybe a three cost character that you want to deal with um yeah this is really really good you, the only stipulation is you have need to have like 15 or more trash cards so this is definitely a late game type of event card but with rebecca you can definitely get there easily uh because you know rebecca wants to get to 15 cards in the trash anyway so this is really really good and the next is yeah buy it for 500 million it's Charlo's face, don't play this card. I mean, so the card's ability is main, KO up to one of your opponents, cost one or lower characters, or return it to the owner's hand, or place it at the top or bottom of its owner's life. Then if you have a Celestial Dragon type character, then you can draw one card. The trigger ability is KO up to one of your opponents, cost six or lower characters, or return it to its owner's hand. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, yeah, cost one or lower is kind of eh, but you know, you can use it in conjunction with all the other Celestial Dragons cards that we have seen so far. And yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. You can uh, KO it, you can return it back to the hand, or you can put it into the life if you want to. Uh, yeah, I don't see this being played at all as of right now in the recording of this video because we don't really see a lot of Celestial Dragon cards and hopefully there will be more Celestial Dragon cards. I mean, why am I saying hopefully? I don't want to play any Celestial Dragon, so fuck that shit. But uh, yeah, if you want to, there may be more support. Anyway, moving on to the stage card, Holy Land, Mary Joa. It's a one cost stage card and during your turn, character, cost, character cards with a cost of two or higher that you can play from your hand with the Celestial Dragon traits are reduced by one. So this is, you know, this is the kind of payoff or why you will run Celestial Dragon cards because everything gets reduced by one. So your, um, it's character cards. So like Charlos will be a two cost, uh, Roswald would be your forecast, and in the future, I feel like there's going to be more Celestial Dragon type cards that could work well, and then this would be good. But as of now, don't play it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think there's a reason to play Celestial Dragon cards as of yet. Uh, it just doesn't make sense because you need to have only Celestial Dragon cards on the field, and I'm not having it. I don't think that's good. Anyway, I think that's it for all the black cards. Uh, we are moving on to the last color, which is yellow in the next video. So once again, I am going to be opening up a box of OPO5 on the 26th of August on release date. Hopefully on the midnight itself, I can get to put a video out. But on the 26th of August on Saturday morning around 8 or 9 a.m., I am doing a live stream. So pop in and watch me open a case of OPO5 and see what we get. Manga Luffy, let's go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the yellow video. And uh, uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.